All right, we got Boxing Source here with Coach Reggie Lloyd. So over here in uh, Jersey, man, what's good? Hey, man, just happy to be back at work, man. Just getting the guys ready, you know, keeping them ready. You know, for something that's coming up. That's it. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. So, I mean, you, you out here uh, working with uh, multiple fighters. Uh, how long you been out this uh, particular, you know, uh, gym area? Man, over 10 years. Oh, man, so it's been 10 years of work. You're out here, man, and you know what? What's been good about you know being out here? Um, just the environment, man. You know the whole the whole environment, and um, working with multiple fighters, you know, so I, I enjoy it a lot. True that, true that. So, um, what's like, um, what would you say like you like kind of work with? Like, how many fighters you work with per day? Like, what's your rotation usually? Um, I think probably like five. Five. Yeah. Yeah, it's up, it's just up. So you kind of like, like I've seen you like work on them with different things, like you know, with the, you know, um, you know, just uh, work with the body shots and you know have the body trainers with it, or you know, hitting it with the pads and all of that. So, like, what do you like want to have them focus on the most as far as like is it speed, time, and power, or what? Well, it, it, it depends on it depends on what they already know. You know, like I always tell them, the things that you don't know is the things that's going to take you to the next level. You know what I mean? So it, it depends on what they know. You know, if they, if they, if they good at jab and they don't have a right hand, then we work on the right hand. If they got everything else but don't have a jab, then we work on the jab. If they got everything else but don't have balance and footwork, then we work on footwork. So it depends on what they have and what they don't have. Yeah, so you just, you know, get them closer to being a complete fighter. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So. You just sometimes it's like you can work with them with the bags or anything like that. You see that they're good with the bags, but they're you know not good with right. like like say the the speed or whatnot. Right. So you just get them focused on the speed. Right. Um, so you know I, I think that's like you know what you know, more fighters would need is just like okay what do I need in order to improve as a fighter? So you know as a trainer as a coach. You like see what they're doing and be like, look, okay, you can do this right here, Absolutely. and this will, you know, sharpen you up. Absolutely. Um, like, what would you say is um, like your uh, like your the best way that you like kind of you know taught a fighter as far as like their overall skill or building on their skills? Like, what have you like taught them the most? Um, footwork, man. Footwork, head movement. And using the jab, you know the jab. So the basics will take you far, and it's a lot of fighters that know everything else but don't have the basics. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know the basic one-two, head movement, jab. It'll take you far. It's a lot of fighters that don't have that. They can throw a, a thousand punch combination, but don't have fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Fundamentals is big in the sport. Like you have to have fundamentals. And I think what happens in the sport is. A lot of coaches, they take their fighters so far mm -hmm. to the point where they're scared to take the fighter back to the basics. You know what I'm saying? You gotta always bring them back to the basics from time to time. Yeah. Yeah, because usually, you know, like you said, uh, you know, with the jab, the jab is like the most important punch Absolutely. out there. And, you know, the same goes, like the jab takes you around the world. But as long as you don't, if you don't like necessarily focus on working on that, working on the timing, working on speed, then you can get caught by somebody that you know knows you better than them. Um, you know, like you know, when I came in here, you know, we were talking about you know the uh, fight that happened uh, a couple weeks ago with Vito Melnicki, you know, was losing, right. and he was basically losing off the jab because he didn't know how to deal with the jab. You know right. what I mean? Right. And yeah, it's just like people don't understand like either how to use it. This is the G code. <laughs> That's the G code right there, man. <laughs> Yeah, real, man, real, man. real be everywhere, man. Real be everywhere. That's man, man. I love, I love, I love Coach Morell, man. Real, real keep me sharp on my toes, man. And he, Morell is one of them trainers who's another one who likes, you know, always keep you sharp when you're in your game. You know what I mean? Always keep you sharp on your game. Yeah. Yeah, see, like you said, you, you work with like five fighters at a time. Like, it almost seems like he works with like 20 or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause you leave one gym and go to the next, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
But like, yeah, back on the thing with the uh, the fight that you know happened with Mel Nicky, like he just couldn't deal with the jab. Like it's one thing to throw the jab, but it's also one thing to defend the jab. Uh, absolutely. And you know, and he just you know wasn't able to you know run with it, and that's that's how he ended up losing. But um, you know, being around this area, man, like how is it you know having all this talent around this area though? Right. Right. Absolutely. You know, like um, like what would you say about the talent around this area in uh, Philly, New Jersey? Oh, it's great talent, man. It's great talent, especially the up and coming. I mean, you got uh, Raymond Ford, you got Rasheem Jefferson Jr., you got um, Brandon Mazzaro, you got. I, I, I don't have to mention boots, do I? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> like, we already know we got boots. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. but um, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not scooter. A, you got you got scooter. You got you can't forget scooter. You got scooter. Um, who else? You got man. I know I'm probably missing some people, but you got a lot of up and coming fighters. Man. You know what I mean, a lot of up and coming. Yeah, yeah. man. And uh, yeah, but I mean, going off that, like. You know, you've seen all of these talented fighters over the years. Um, what would you say is like one thing that like stands out uh, with these fighters? The competition that they're fighting now. Like if you look at if you look at Scooter when when Scooter turned pro, Scooter was fighting undefeated fighters, man, early in his career. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like Scooter just is one of the fighters who overcame adversity early in his career. You know what I mean? Um, Oops. Oops is just, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's like the talent is. Yeah, he on another level. Man. Yeah. Um, same thing with Ray, Raymond Ford, man. Yeah. We just, you know, he's fighting tough competition early in his career. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? See, a lot of people, when they when in this game, they look at, when you fight somebody, they look at the record. Records don't mean nothing. Because it's dudes that come to fight. You know what I mean? So, um, same thing with Rasheem Jefferson Jr. He's fighting undefeated fighters yeah. early in his career. You know what I'm saying? So I think I think you know these these guys are just not scared to step up in competition. Right. I mean, like they know that they can fight and they want to be tested. Right. I mean, a lot of guys don't want to be tested. A lot of guys want to be you know going over to Mexico or wherever to try to build their record. They don't. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of guys don't want to be tested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, yeah, you can go over to Mexico and, you know, like you said, build your record. Right. But if you're not in there with a, you know, good record and experienced fighter, by the time you run into them, then you'll have a whole bunch of problems. Yeah. Now, uh, what would be one thing about Coach Reg that people might not know that you would want them to know, that you would want them to know? I don't know, man. <laughs> and just like Jordan out camp, like when we had camp, yeah, y'all gotta come back. We, yo, we had so much fun in camp. Yeah, it's a shame, man. Like it's our camp always with me, Ray, Adam, Rel. Like our camp, Sheen. Our camp is always with man. Like I think people need to come and join our camp just to see how fun our camp is, man. Like I mean, don't get me wrong. Like we work hard, but right, we also have a ball in the process. You know what I mean? You gotcha. have a ball in the process. So I think people need to come in and just drop in and check it out. Yeah, I feel you, I mean, man. Just work hard, but have fun at that. the same time. That's, that's what it'll be about. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, with that being said, thank you very much for taking the time with the Boxing Swords here. Thank you, and We're definitely going to see more of you here in the future, my man. Yes, sir. Thank you. No doubt.